Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol AMRN. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame thing is a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Done this analysis several times in a row, did it on Friday. So that's where the red and green line annotations are coming from. And after today's price movement, uh, some updates certainly need to be made. And the, the chart is at a very interesting location, kind of for two reasons. And this will mean a little bit more of those to those of you that have watched the past videos. Uh, but the first reason it's right near this green line here that I've talked about before time and time again, which has been this area of support right around the $19 mark. Technically speaking, okay, slightly blow up, but remember support resistance levels are not exact specific prices. There is a range element associated with it. And I mean, given it's within nine cents, I'm still would consider that, you know, being right around this area of support. But the other fa factor has to do with the purple line right there, which is kind of hard to see, but uh, here you can see it a lot better. And that is the 50 period, some moving average. So you have kind of two key levels of support that are right near each other right now. And the price is also right around those areas. And I should note that I don't want to come across like these are some sort of great discoveries on my part. Anybody that uses charts uh, ha has taken notice of this and is going to be wondering these same things going forward. But the big question is, you know, is, is the price going to find some support here, build a higher base and then kind of work its way back upwards and potentially give, you know, 20, 50 another try? Or is this just kind of a, a little breath before things take a little bit deeper of a pull back to the downside? You know, I don't I have no idea, but. With that being said, you know, that's what a lot of eyeballs are watching and what a lot of people are wondering because that's just a, a very straightforward kind of technical event that's occurring right now. And like I said, by no means some sort of like epic discovery on my part. No, a lot of people are watching that and wondering that exact same thing. Now, in the event, the price cannot hold above this area and it does start to pull back some more. Next key level of support at that point would be around the $17.80 mark. And like I already uh, pointed out, if this is some sort of bottom and the price starts to bounce back upwards, well, then it all goes back to 2050, which, uh, you know, the, the past uh, history of the chart here over the past few days has shown has been where the sellers are, are pretty much hanging out. So keep an eye on that. Uh, but 2050 key overall level of resistance. And if this cur current area of support around 19 doesn't hold, then 1780 would be the next level to keep an eye on. The week is young, still four days left. So let's see what happens. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.